hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to change the password so guys, I want to change this user password or this user password so guys let's get started with it so first let's move to our userless.php and click on this button edit button so I'll just show you what's happening in this edit button okay so this is the userless.php and this is the edit button so here we are going to user edit.php file with the id and the user id uid okay so this is coming by the for each loop so guys please watch out the how to fetch this registered user data and then you can get that id so guys once we click on this we'll get with the id so let's see that let's click on this edit id so you can see that user edit.php with the parameter id and then its user id so we have clicked on om prakash edit so it's coming on this you can edit and update the data enable or disable and now we are going to create how to change the password of this user okay so guys now let's move to user edit.php let's go to user edit.php and now guys these are the form which was for edit and update and one was for the enable and disable so let's minimize this div tags okay done and after this i want one column md12 which i want to give one horizontal row inside this just give and after this let's create column md6 so card dot margin top 4 and inside this we are going to start with card header and then card body 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 card body and then here all your design will be and before that we are going to start with h4 where change password we will tell okay and here your form starts inside this card body so let's, let's start form method is equal to post and here dot form group inside this form group i want margin bottom three and a simple label where new password input dot form hyphen control name is equal to will tell new underscore password let's copy the same thing and paste will tip retype password so retype password and after this we want to submit so let's give button submit submit name is equal to change password button and this class we are going to give button button hyphen primary save it and let's go to code.php file so before that let's make this as required and this also required oops and now guys let us go to code.php and create the code for this so let's move to code.php let's ignore all this these are the previous video contents and now let's start with the if condition if this is set then dollar underscore post method of your button if the button is clicked then you will be inside this so let's create one variable called new password is equal to dollar underscore post method the password input field name new password copy this and paste and again let's copy this and take this retype password let's send over here and we need one input so another input means a user id i need a user id so input will create and this will be hidden value 
and get the input username Oop. name is equal to change pwd user underscore id as simple and send the value over here so what value you are going to set when you clicked on the edit button that time you are getting this id parameter with the value right user id that is so this is nothing but om prakash id let's get over here so instead of getting directly we will check that if the get method is set or not for that you need to start with php close php use if condition with the is set function dollar underscore get method get method and paste the id so if it is their id is there then it will come else it will tell echo as no id found simple so let's give this dollar user id is equal to dollar get method of id then the id is stored over here once if the id is correct or wrong so for that you need to go to your doc and go on user management get specific user detail let's copy this and paste let's remove this we need just only with user id let's take this user id and paste over here so if the id is correct then it will show else it will echo the error message so that is id not found it will tell okay and let's take this input forms i mean input tags and paste inside this try catch so let's divide the php as simple and paste your input fields clear and yep guys let me just minimize with this sidebar as simple and now guys let us send this id which is this dollar user id over here done and take this input name of the user id and send over here so let's tell dollar uid is equal to dollar underscore post method of user id done and now guys let's get the code to change the password so on the user management you need to go to change a user password so this is the code so let's get this a simple copy we have already created the user id which is over here let's paste this done and let's move this user id over here and the new password which you want so before that pushing this new password we will check let's check if new password double equal to retype password we'll create this option because sometimes the user gives the correct spelling but he misses something goes wrong over there so for that case we are going to giving retype password so once if there is new password and retype password is same then it will update the password else it will tell password did not match okay so for that let's copy one session message to show that let's copy and paste over here so let's send this as new password and retype pwd does not match as simple so we want to send on the same page which page on this edit page only so let's call this user edit with the id copy and paste over here and whatever the id you are getting let's concatenate that let's change this to double quotes done and now whenever this password is wrong it will send again back to that and to check check the status you need to show a message on user edit so for that let me just copy from user list page or else here only it will be so let me just take this and paste outside the container this is a simple code to show the message guys okay so now let's save and let's move back to code.php and then once you update with the new password let's take this variable new password and send over here 
let's send that directly once done you need to show the status is updated or not so for that let's copy from below only let's copy this and paste inside this as simple so once it's updated user is updated updated with the change password that time you are going to show the message so that message will be as password updated okay or else password password not updated done and go back to user list.php for both conditions save and now guys let us test it let's refresh you can see change password option has come so let's type wrong thing first so one two three four five six one two three six five four okay now let's submit new password and retime password does not match okay so now let's try to match it one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight so this is om prakash password okay now let us submit password updated so guys it's updated or not correctly password so for that let's try to log in and check so let's log out now and let's type om pra let's see that correct email id let's copy this and give a wrong password first one two three four five six we have given till eight okay so i'm trying with the wrong password wrong password is telling so let's give correct one two three four five six seven eight login cool so you are logged in successfully so guys in this video we have completed with how to change the password thing okay so guys see you next video with the new topic and thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share